Wow. Where'd you get this? So I went to like an oddity store and they had like a Josh figurine. It's like in a normal pose, like a right. normal resting pose. You yeah. Know, like he's got his resting bitch face, I can see. Yeah. And they, the, the attention to detail is great. I mean, he's got the film school university. He's got the chain. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not unsettling at all to have in my apartment. At all. Ah! Dude, it, did it just move? What the fuck did okay. you buy? No, I. it's just a fucking... I mean, it was like a witch, but like, I, okay. it's, it's like fine, right? Hello. What's up, dude? Dude, I'm like your biggest fan. Dude. Oh, okay, hold on. Did you just turn that off? No, I didn't do anything. Just quit fucking with I me, I didn't dude. do anything. That was fucking weird. That's great. Oh! oh! Welcome to There Are Too Many Movies, family. Hello. This week on There Are Too Many Movies, we're going to be discussing Shudder's Oddity. 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 Oddish T, the Pokemon Oddish. But if before we talk about that, we're going to talk about what we've been watching. I'm Chris Collins. Josh the Josh Rodriguez of Film School University. That was sick. Who are you? I'm Alex Ice Wilson. Ice stands for internal combustion engine. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. It's fellas time. Minute in, demonetize. Let's Hell get yeah. it. <laughs> Speed what? run, any percent, demonetization. Oh, I'm going to pay my rent with that video. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Our 100 YouTube, whatever, we're Spotify podcast. So we're going to take off everything off YouTube and just be Spotify exclusive. So we look on. better. So we have better numbers. For some reason, no one just wants YouTube. YouTube just fucking shadow bans us because we say come in the first seconds, 10 it's, seconds of the show. It's actually a fact. The YouTube That's is actually true. It's for makeup tutorials and Oni Plays compilations. But what if someone says, welcome to the show? The very good point. You know? That's a good point. What, how do you know they're not talking about come yeah. from a cock? From a well. For, yeah. Welcome. Well, a, a well of come. Hell yeah. Five mucks a month on Patreon if you want to support your local on the internet podcast. Five mucks a month will get you a bonus episode every single week called Supplements. Oh, shit, dude. Yeah. Fucking, oh, hitting the bass line? Dude, dude. Hit, hit, <laughs> hitting the bass line. Oh, fuck. He's man. playing the torso. Dude, when the fuck? Slap bass, slap bass. What are you doing? He's just playing I'm, My Name is Mud by Primus. Yeah. So fucking overrated song. The Patreon will get you a bonus episode a week, a bonus episode on a movie a month. Access to the Discord, watch parties, and a bunch of other behind-the-scenes content. So let's freaking go! Five mucks a month, it's and a thank deal. you to our latest Patreon subscribers for keeping us afloat and doing your fucking thing. We really appreciate you. Yeah, and also you get a bunch of free shit. You get ticket giveaways, first access to ticket giveaways. You get fucking free movies in the Discord. Sometimes people post a bunch of stuff. True, like like little disc or movie codes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I did it. Yeah, I don't know who has my collateral, but good for you. Yeah, free Reality Kings memberships. Yep, we a year, that. a year. As long as you're not in Texas, we don't, we don't support Reality Kings. Unreality Kings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. So that's five bucks a month. Do that. Virtual Reality Kings. Oh, nice. Yeah, you know what I mean. Reality Queens. What have you guys been watching? I'll go first. I started <clears throat> with 1995's. To Die For. This is a Gus Van Sant joint in the Criterion Collection. Mm. Saw it in 4K. This is starring Nicole Kidman as a... She wants to be an anchor. She's like a TV personality that's trying really hard to make it out in the fucking world of television and uh, broadcasting. But her whole thing is that she is... uh, a bad person and is using the people around her to get what she wants, which is fame. Sounds like Nightcrawler. It's oh. not quite. It's more of a colorful, fun time. Really fucking. It's like a dark comedy, I'd say. Okay. Really fucking good, though, man. The The cinematography and the art direction is what really sells this movie. And also, Nicole Kidman has a fucking blasty blast making this movie. I can't wait for her AMC sequel. That indescribable feeling. Come. That would be great. That's really the only thing I'm looking forward to from her. Really? Yeah. Yes. To die for AMC theaters, right? Exactly. This is where 
we have the movie. What did she say? Heartbreak feels good in a place like this. Yeah. Heartbreak feels good in a place like this. This guy doesn't go to the fucking theater ever. I go to Cinemark, which I hate. <laughs> <laughs> he goes to Cinemark Screen X and has an Shit autistic hole. meltdown. Dude, <laughs> hate but, it. <laughs> I feel like this movie really put her on the map because this was 95. This is before Batman Forever. She did a phenomenal job, like I said. And uh, yeah, dude, this is like a star performance for her. I think she was nominated at least for a couple of Oscars uh, or for- just awards d- that year for... This performance. She's fucking great in this. Did you uh, like it? Yeah, it's really, really good. I'm trying to remember the dude from Something About Mary with the big teeth. What's that dude's name? He's in remember. The Outsiders, too. I don't, uh, I don't remember. I'm drawing a blank. But the movie he's podcast. Who gives a shit? I don't even know any actors other than The Rock and Jack Black yeah. and Kevin Hart. Mm-hmm. There's Daniel Day so Lewis just and the, everybody the else cast of Jumanji in the next level? Uh, Minecraft. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Real cinema, fucking idiot. Yeah, talking about Nicole Kidman movies when we're supposed to be talking about Minecraft. Can't wait for your watch list, Borderlands. Oh, dude. five out of five. I haven't even seen a trailer for that, and I know it's a piece of shit. I, I think, also, I think I also Criterion learned, version is coming. <laughs> I learned that Robert Rodriguez directed that movie. Really? Yeah. The fuck? Which one? Borderlands. Borderlands. No way. Really? They give him a hundred million dollars to make that movie. Really? Well, there you go. It wasn't even anywhere in the promotion. I feel like I would have known that. Yeah. He's just like, yeah, it's another spy case kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just fucking dude. The trailers look made it look like Suicide Squad, like just yeah. the same or Guardians of the Galaxy. You know what I mean? Just yeah. the. So what are we? Some kind of Borderlands? <laughs> what are we? Some kind of video game movie? What are we? Some kind of Suicide Squad? What are we? Some kind of Minecraft? The live action adaptation? <laughs> But again, To Die For is a fucking banger, dude. Okay. I loved this movie. Did you own it? Is that why? Yeah, it's on Criterion, Baby, 4K. It's a one of their like latest drops. Oh, okay. Really nice. fucking good. I actually own the laser disc of this, so I haven't seen it since like the nineties. Are you ever gonna get a laser disc player so you can watch I, it authentically? I have a laser disc player. Have you ever hooked it I up? I haven't hooked it up All yet. Right. I need the adapter and it's all fucking. Oh thing. Christ. I know, I know. <laughs> So yeah, you buy like a really expensive adapter so you can watch the shittiest quality of all time. I Perfect. <laughs> Is the laser just that bad? Uh, it's pretty bad. I mean, it's not it's that bad. bad Isn't but, it better compared... DVD? No. Oh, really? No. Oh. No, DVD has more data. I'll fact check myself, and if I'm wrong, I'll edit this out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my next on my watch list is The Dirties, 2013. This is directed by Matt Johnson of BlackBerry fame, dude. Oh. Uh, a great movie, and he's the guy in BlackBerry that has, like, the where's the bandana? So he is in this, and he directs this, and it is a mockumentary about kids that are making a movie about a school shooting, and the kids end up doing a school shooting. Jesus Christ. So it's like Chronicle, but with guns instead of powers. Dude, yes. Yes, <laughs> it is very Chronicle. It is very Chronicle. But it is fucked up and funny and sad. And like, dude, the ending absolutely fucks me up, dude. I am. That actually sounds great. It's, but it's. Dude, it's great. It's, it's, a, it's also a yikes. It's genuinely a great movie. I wear a Counter Strike shirt. I'm like, <laughs> the guns are bad. Yeah, no thanks. Yeah. This one is available on Amazon Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, definitely it is worth your time. If, if you're I, an American, you have Amazon Prime. Pro- yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah. That's fair. That's a safe bet. Alexa, do I have Amazon Prime? <laughs> to view your Amazon account status, go to the Your Account page on Amazon. Amazon. Alexa, order 40,000 flashlights. <laughs> 12 units is the most I can order at once. Fuck that, Visit then. Visit Amazon to order more. <laughs> I have 40,000 dicks. Now, right? the, now I'm just going to get flashlight like, <laughs> ads everywhere now. They're like, they're in your cart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just say when. Check out. <laughs> they can be here tomorrow. You can, be fuck- you, can, you can be fucking a flashlight tomorrow. <laughs> Choose the delivery time. 9 a.m.? 12 of them. <laughs> just 12. Just 12. 12. Yeah. Yeah. It's a cool twelve. This is comes in a, a it comes in a crate. Yeah, baker's dozen of flashlights, dude. <laughs> Pocket full. Well, no, of pussy. no, no, no. That's thirteen. Oh, no, darn! I got the joke wrong. Yeah. Damn it, dude! Now you'll never work in a bakery. I missed that. Man. Fucks objects. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the dirties is a fucking banger, dude. Yeah, really, really, really good. Like I said, the ending kind of fucked me up. It was a tough watch. However, uh, one of the most inventive mockumentaries I've ever seen. It really turns that genre on, on its head it's great uh um, cool 
Then I watched Watcher from 2022. Ooh, I love this movie. It's great. Micah Monroe. We did a watch party for this, ironically. Really? Yes. Fuck, I wasn't Who around. watches Watcher? We Who were watches? watching the Watchers in the Watch Party. Wow. And then we Boy. followed that up with a double feature of the Watchers starring yeah. fucking the Shyamalan daughter or whatever. Oh, God. And then the by, Watchmen. And then the Watchmen. <laughs> Watcher is worth watching. It is great. Agreed. It is a good movie. It's really good. It's Gaslit the movie. Dude. Yeah. But Micah it, Monroe, man. She's great. Yeah. It's kind of always like a horror. Am I using trope correctly? I don't know. Uh, apparently so dude. <laughs> jesus christ the fucking clip has lived on for months oh uh, the, the documentary me bitching about documentary clapping in a frame shit it's popping off again dude no it, it's just still it's, it's just consistently going. Jesus christ every fucking day some yeah. editor's like hey man and it's the fucking director of the wizard of paws <laughs> yeah season three <laughs> yeah shut the fuck up you fucking loser yeah but i saw some apparently i probably am using it wrong doesn't matter anyways there's a trope in horror movies that women are just like, hey, something's happening. And everyone around them is like, shut up. You oh, no, you're totally bitch. right. Did like, you, did you see, always. did you see on Netflix there, there's such a well done, uh, like spoof of that with yeah. Kristen Bell. It's called like the girl in the window across the street from the house that the murders take place. It's like some crazy title like that. Yeah. And it's like, it's, it's so well done. Really? That if you didn't know, you would just be like, oh, this is just another one of these movies. Like, really? Yeah. It's very Hitchcockian, right? It's yeah, that yeah. whole thing, like the rear window or whatever the fuck else he did. Psycho. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen an old movie. Fucking, fucking rope. <laughs> movies happen later. I don't fucking know. Dial Q for queer, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one, dude. That's the one. Uh, this movie is really, really good. I'm, I kind of hate that I missed out on the watch party. I don't remember when this was. This is one of the first ones. We really? did like year, like around when it came out. 2022 yeah that's when yeah so it was a long time ago ago. two years ago forever ago but Michael Monroe dude holy shit long legs and then this and then just uh, of course it follows she's Mm -hmm. a fucking great actress man hell yeah in more ways than one good fucking actress I can't wait for they follow dude yeah let's fucking go dude they them follow that's this year right later this year is it I don't know. Early I haven't next. seen anything for it other than just the announcement. I've seen the logo for it, the title treatment. If yeah, you know. it's just in production. Who knows? We'll see. I don't think it's gonna be this year because we would have had a trailer by now. We're almost at the end of the year. Yeah. Hopefully, it's as good as Under the Silver Lake. You know. Dude, oh yeah, that we was can a only banger. hope. That was a banger, dude. What if I wrote everything? <laughs> what, if, what if I made? A, what if I had made a Lynch film that also fucking sucked? <laughs> Well, then you just made a Lynch yeah, film. Yeah, I was exactly. going to say implying Lynch films don't suck. No, yeah. that's, yeah. It's, 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 yeah. <laughs> my, last, uh, my last on my watch list is going to be the last stop in Yuma County. So this is a very Coen Brothers-esque joint where a it's a bunch of people in a diner and shit goes bad. A bunch of stupid people in a very complex situation. I call this... No country for broke men, dude. This is the uh, that's my DMT for last stop in Yuma County. So basically, it this is, came out recently, right? This uh, last year, twenty. Yeah, I remember wanting to see this. I brought this up to <clears throat> us to cover, but I didn't. I don't think we all agreed that it was a big enough movie at the time to like. That's right. Do a full episode. I don't on think I had ever heard of it when you brought it up. That's right, yeah. dude. It is thriller. really good. Okay, I've heard people fucking rave about it now. People are comparing it to like a Quentin Tarantino dialogue mixed with Coen Brothers okay. situations this movie that happens in one place. Yeah, who directed? A uh, new director. I think this is his first feature film. Jesus. It's fucking solid, man. And the, the cast is pretty... The, there are a few like well-known people. That, you know the old man from the convenience store in No Country for oh, yeah, Old yeah, Men? Yeah. He's in it. Okay. Uh, Joe Chill from Batman Begins is like okay. the main bad guy. <laughs> He's also the... Was the first King... Ice King. Mm-hmm. I forgot his fucking name. Yeah. Uh, really, really good movie, dude. Mm-hmm. I... I I don't want to spoil anything, but uh, it keeps you guessing. It really does. It's yeah. kind of whodunit esque too. I'm also. definitely checking that out. Really, really Seems solid. Up my alley. And it all takes place in kind of one room, basically. Love my it. favorite. One diner. Yeah, my it's fucking favorite. Really, really, really solid. Okay, that's it for me. Nice. I'll go next. Okay. Let's kick it off with a little physical media minute, shall we? You get it. You get it. Don't you have the drop? No. What do you mean no? <laughs> no. I can't find the fucking drop, dude. I got okay. it. I can go to a different. I can go to a. Hold on. All right. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. We'll wait. Bang, 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 bang. We'll wait. <sighs> Is that one? 
Hold on. Was that so fucking hard? Uh, well, I had to go to a different audio soundboard app. <laughs> My Uncle the Alien on VHS. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I saw this laying in your fucking pile over yeah, there. Yeah, I gotta figure that out. <laughs> I gotta figure out that fucking pile. How many total VHSs do you have now? 280 something. Oh yeah, you went fully oh, autistic but, today. I did no, it was last <laughs> week. I spent eight hours lo- like I scanned the first barcode. I was like, God damn it. Yeah. Tell went, the people, tell the people. F- I went full OCD and I logged everything I own. Blu-rays, 4K, steelbooks, VHSs, beta tapes, laser discs on a CLZ movies app. I know there's a lot of out there. I, I had to settle. CLZ sponsor the pod. Yeah, dude, so, sponsor the pod. Even though I argued with you in the support section this past. <laughs> <laughs> you should add more yeah. beta so max. I really fuck did. you because this was me on Steelbooks.com. <laughs> yeah, basically three months ago, where I was getting absolutely shit on, dude. <laughs> yeah, but so would, fuck you, dude. I would say that arguing with an, a very prominent app is different than arguing with a GeoCities web page. Very prominent. <laughs> it's a <laughs> very prominent and app where you CLZ. where you, I can log my laser discs fuck yeah, dude. you dude is this the optimal app that you've discovered yeah i did i i was like trying to figure out which one to do it on which is the best what will have the most like options and all that like this is the best one that has the most editions steelbooks vhs's it covers most of the physical media in movies there's a clz music clz games all that it's the short for collectors but whatever there's also I Collect, apparently, in the Discord. That one's popular. I checked that one out, and it is basically the same thing as CLZ Movies, but it's like a little bit cleaner, a little bit more modern looking. But I think CLZ Movies has like, I think it has more customization. It looks like it's just a lot more data in there. I also spent eight hours on CLZ, so I'm not switching to I Collect. <laughs> <laughs> there is that, but he's looking for like, where's an export option? Yeah. There is, though. There is, though. <laughs> <laughs> there is, though. There is. I did find I that, checked. though. Uh, there is, though. You I found can, it. Yeah. Nothing gets the panties dropping like the, showing them my pie chart on CLZ movies. <laughs> yeah, so check VHS uh, staggeringly outweighs. 58% VHS? They're cheap <laughs> and they feel good to hold. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. Pre- pretty soon I'm going <laughs> to Pretty soon I'm going to get into like shell switching and I'm going to start fucking God. doing like You're going to have like an unspooler for this. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be like, come on in, guys. I'm just going to be like cranking like small magnetic He's wearing the tape. glasses. Yeah. The fucking spike his glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. My uncle the alien. Uh, <laughs> Let me see this fucking I found monstrosity. This, I found this in a thrift shop for like. <laughs> Who's the distributor? Who's I the should publisher? Say, I should say my friend found this for me. They sent me a picture and they're like, do you want this? And I was like, yes. Oh, dude. The, uh, the, the tagline. Let me, let me just say this. My uncle the alien, the president's daughter, her secret friend. And they're out of this world adventure. Yeah. I like that the spine is not an attention grabber. No. Despite the fact that it's called My Uncle the... I do love the cover. The, the cover is the th- worst thing 10. I've ever seen. It's so great. That's horrendous. <laughs> I was like, like, I'm a- watching... So I watched <laughs> this. It's like... So it's it's pitched as a... Let me see it. It's pitched as a, a heartwarming fable for the entire family. <laughs> Turns out it's about the president's daughter getting abducted by a bunch of junkies. And then, like, they go, they, like, bring it to, like, a wax museum, and the Secret Service is, like, interrogating children. It's porn, Which basically. is illegal. Funny you should mention that. It was a adult film director who tried to pivot into family films. Wow. wow. And this was his first written, directed, produced, and edited <laughs> by that guy. This seems like a movie that someone made in secret to make one copy of to put into a public library somewhere. <laughs> dude, <laughs> like, dude it, this is just some sort of money laundering scheme. Yeah, is, is what this yeah, movie is. That is a monstrosity to yeah. This all made of film. He, he got him three grams of coke in total. Yeah, like, and then like the end, the the alien is barely in it until like the last thirty minutes, and he shows up and has like <laughs> telepathic powers and like melts everybody and like or, or like conv- like basically just hypnotizes everybody, and then he's some. Somehow, suddenly red pilled. He's like, yeah. He's like, yeah. They're gonna be in prison making license plates forever. And it's just like this is a kids movie. It's like somehow felt racist. I don't know how, but like the alien was like, like yeah, I am a strong supporter of the in prison industrial complex. Basically, <laughs> the fuck. Yeah, so that's that movie. Sounds fucking cool. That's it was badass. It was great. Um, and the best part is, on the top, there's like a an address. Like, you know how you used to, like, label your thing? Yeah. yeah. So I can just fully dox this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when you bought my uncle the alien and yeah. tagged it? Come on, man. I sold that a long time ago. Yeah, like, <laughs> it was like, I was just adding it to CLZ, dude. Yeah, dude. yeah. I won't read the full address, but this made its way to a Dallas thrift shop 
all the way from Hot Springs, Arizona, into my VCR, dude. Hell oh, yeah, yeah dude. dude! Shout out Clyde Wiles, dude. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, thanks for the fucking my thanks, uncle. Clyde. Um, so that's my uncle the alien. I'll put just put that up here. The beautiful. Uh, Honestly, dude. That's a great watch party movie. That's a piece of history. Yeah. No, that's what made me be like, oh, that Mac and Me movie we should watch. Uh, Which we are definitely going to do that. Five bucks a month on Patreon. Let's go. Next thing I watch, Infested. This is a Shutter original. Oh. It came out. It's a French film. Came out last year. Oh. Francais. Is about spiders. Oh. My spider. Spooky. Where's my spider? Where's my spider? Where's my spider? They took my spider. <laughs> They're, they're everywhere, actually, in this. So. <laughs> oh, it's an yeah, Iraq dude. attack. Dude, I'm was not... it exciting? Were you invested? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have arachnophobia, but God damn it, I was squirming. I don't know how you don't have arachnophobia. They're terrifying. They are. But like, I mean, yeah. It, I think you have a casual fear of spiders, but it's not like your greatest fear. No, a casual yeah. fear. No, I... <laughs> uh, <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Uh. Oh, hey. <laughs> Catch him. Uh, it's yeah. pussy, actually. It's not a cigarette. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this, I couldn't find anyone that wanted to watch this with me because so many people are afraid of spiders. Where is my spider? Where is my spider? They took my spider. They took my spider. And this guy basically did take a spider from Egypt. He bought like he bought it like some fucking shop. The Egyptian spider, and then course. he brought it home, and of course it gets out and lays a billion eggs. And so he brought just, an invasive species, like an asshole. Yeah, and it's and they're huge, and oh, they yeah. cocoon humans like fucking a <laughs> xenomorph. It's insane. Yeah, it's a good movie. It's, Hell yeah, it's actually fun. Uh, it's a Shutter original, you said. Yeah, I got a yeah. I did a Shutter free trial just to watch it because I've Shelf's seen so many things man. about it. It's fun, man. I like I like Shutter. Yeah, Shutter's yeah. cool. I yeah. love the documentaries on Shutter specifically. Yeah, they're high quality. In Search of Darkness, man. Yeah. Fucking oh, yeah, like yeah. seven hour documentaries yeah. about Let's horror. Go. Let's fucking go. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. scariest moments in cinema documentary was good. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although I dipped out because I was like, I don't want to spoil all these great movies for myself. I and skipped ones I, did, I wanted to see. Do it so you can watch those documentaries and also uh, Late Night with the Devil. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. that's just a fun night. Yeah. I added so many movies to my watch list from documentaries on Shutter. True. Oh yeah, so it's worth it, dude. Just uh, Dark Tales and Nights Bewitched or whatever. It's like a documentary about uh, about <laughs> like Donald folk horror, like evil, <laughs> evil Donald Duck is what it sounds like. Howard the Duck. No, it's about folk horror. Nice. Oh, and it okay. go, goes through like the history of folk horror, and I got a lot of recommendations from that. But nice. I've that have sat on my watch list okay. for a long time. It sounds like Eight Legged Freaks, just like that. Ooh, I loved just like that, freaks, dude. That was a good era for the wild horror. Like when Eight Legged Freaks and then like Slither came out. Mm-hmm. Like you remember that? Yeah. That was a good time. Yeah. Slither. That doesn't matter. <laughs> Speaking of Shutter though, the movie we watched this week, Oddity, is a Shutter original. Tis, but yeah. I rented it. Is that how you watched <laughs> it on Shutter? No. <laughs> nope. How'd you watch it? I rented it. How'd you watch it? I rented it. I radio rented it. Okay. What? How'd you watch it? <laughs> Stole it. Legally? What do you mean? Oh, like, okay. a, like a regular not, guy? My bad, my bad. What are you, the fucking FBI? No, 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 no. Not at all, man. <laughs> I watched it like you guys did. Like a cog in the capitalism machine. Yeah. <sighs> Next thing I watched, The Vanishing. Okay. It's okay. a criterion. I've heard people fucking rave about this shit. Yeah, me too. Um, it's it's worth watching. It's got a lot of hype, so that affected my review. Or I guess it, I thought it was overhyped after I watched it. But damn, like people were like, "This is the scariest thing of all time." And oh, I it's was, a horror. Yes. Okay. Thriller, more so. But it's uh, it's about a woman, a couple, like on vacation, and they stop at a gas station, and she goes in for a coke and a beer, and never comes out, and cool. and then it's just him trying to figure it out, and it's got some twists and some interesting things in it. I I recommend it. I liked it. I enjoyed it. What if she's just behind him the whole time? Yeah, <laughs> I was bored out of my fucking. Oh mind. shit! Yeah, I saw movie. when I went to log this, I saw you logged it, and you were not a fan. Well, I talked about it on the show. I was bored out of my fucking mind watching that movie. Really? You yeah. finished it? Yeah. I would think you wouldn't be. 
just based on like the things that happen in it. It's like almost like a psychological thriller kind of thing. And part of me feels like it may have been wrong place, wrong time when I watched it. Maybe like daytime, possibly. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's just like, yeah, I just want to watch something good. And then I just got distracted and I was like, oh, fuck. Like it just couldn't yeah. really, really get into it. So maybe I feel like maybe that's one of those, it, especially for older movies like this. I need a theater experience, you know, I to need lock in absolutely nothing else going on. How old is it? 80 something, right? 88. Okay. 88. Yeah. It does seem a little dated when you watch it, but yeah. Okay. I, well, because it's like a foreign film and it's shot on shitty camera. Oh, well, foreign all automatically adds like 30 years to it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it, it, not that it's tough, a tough watch, but uh, yeah, I just wasn't locked <clears throat> the fuck in. No, so yeah. I think that was my problem. Like this guy like sold his wine cellar to shoot it on 16 mil. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's what it feels like. <laughs> Yeah, but it it was good. Uh, I I enjoyed it. I did enjoy it, and it's Criterion, so you know it's good. I do want to see it based on the rave reviews I've heard. Yeah, it's not it's not a horror, but even though people say it's scary, there's it's scary because it seems almost realistic. I was gonna say where that. it's like you could just be on vacation and something insane can happen like this. Yeah, and it does have one of the most like the ending is fucking woof. Is there a an American remake of this movie? I don't know. There is a Vanishing starring Gerard Butler, and it's an action movie. Let's go. But that's not a that's remake. Not this. No, I don't think. Is that in the gamer universe? <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> he's just he's just Leonidas forever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let me see. Let me see. You go ahead. You got to get that's me out a bit, of prison. Uh, that's a, all I got on the Vanishing. I got <clears throat> Yeah, and that's all I got. Fuck it. Yeah. Okay. Bunch of other shit, but um, fucking who cares? I'll start off with, uh, we don't usually talk about him, uh, comedy specials on here. I just wanted to say, watch Adam, Adam Sandler's new special. It's called I Love You. I Love You. <coughs> love well, you. What <laughs> is it called, dude? It's called I Love You. Something like that. Mm-hmm. Or just love you. Um, dude, watch it. Fucking watch it. Confirming there is an American remake called The Vanishing starring Jeff Bridges and Kiefer Sutherland. Huh? Yep. Okay. Oh man, where's my wife, man? Where's my fucking wife, <laughs> man? For a coke and a beer, and didn't come out. Obviously, it, she's not a golfer. <laughs> it is definitely a uh, remake. Yeah. All right. Cool. I might check that out and then go back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. To get a new appreciation of it. Yeah. Speaking of remakes, that fucking uh, Speak No Evil. Oh man. Just watch the original, please. Wait, there's an original. Yes. Okay. It's I will fucking watch it. terrifying. We're getting a uh, a nice little movie gift for. Speak No Evil. Yeah, so check that out. Check it out. Speak No Evil. Check out Speak No Evil. It's part of the game, fellas. (laughs) (laughs) Like, why are you giving away tickets for... Do you want free tickets or not? What do you want? Do you want free tickets for fucking Borderlands? No? Okay, well then you also don't get free tickets for Furiosa, you dumb fuck. (laughs) Just ride with us, baby. Yeah, we're giving away tickets. Who cares? And Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, you fucks. You're welcome. Yeah. You tell them, dude. People get mad that we we give away tickets to stuff they don't like. Sometimes, I'll, like don't then don't accept that. I just don't. Then don't enter the. They're like, I thought this was a cinephile podcast. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just talked about my uncle the alien for like thirty minutes. Yeah. Uh, someone was really <laughs> pissed at us for doing a Borderlands giveaway, and they're like, "They can't even give this shit away." I'm like, "Literally, we're we, giving we it are. away. We just did. We just did. You dumb fuck. We're out of them. And if it's so bad, if you hate it so much, why don't you fucking support that we're giving away free tickets to it that technically takes money from it yeah true i don't, don't know don't you want it to do worse? i mean no we're fine keep giving us <laughs> the giveaways yeah, and stuff yeah, we yeah. love doing the giveaways we do we do we really do and if you're five bucks a month the patreon or early access to those giveaways because you're if you're into it you're into it here you go it's movies like go to the movies it's great yeah Fuck. that being said adam sandler watch the special good stuff yeah um Let's see. Directed by Benny Safdie, right? Josh Safdie. Josh Safdie. Yes. So you can really only tell on the intro and outro, but it's still good. Eh. Still good stuff. Um, Let's see. All right. Uh, I finished. So I finished this like the day after we went on our like month break or whatever, and I didn't get a chance to bring it up. But uh, The Boys, the most recent season, obviously it's great. Watch it. And then I watched uh, Jin V after I finished that, thinking that it would just be sort of like like not even that good. It's like a spin-off show in the it's, boys universe. It's an animated one, right? No, no, that's uh the boys diabolical or something. Oh. I didn't bother to watch that. They're like Genevieve's like the young boys. Yeah. The, Wait, the, what's Invincible then? That's an anime based off the comic book Invincible by Robert Kirkman. So that's not the boys? No. 
Oh, I watched Invincible. That was Invincible's great. fire. But anyway, sorry. Um, Gen V, this is very worth your time. If you ha- have the remotest like of the boys, worth your time, check it out. I enjoyed it a lot. It's also, it brings in a couple characters near the end of the most recent scene of, season of the boys that if you didn't watch Gen V, you'll be like, who are they? Which was me, which is why I watched Gen V. Uh, oh, that's cool. Good stuff. Check it out. A little crossover shit going on. Yish. Um, Let's, is it as raunchy and violent as the boys? Um, less penises, same amount of gore. Then I will not watch it. <laughs> <laughs> not into it, thank you. Not my thing. Not uh, my cup thing. of tea. And then uh, I'm a goddamn American, so I watched Chestnut versus Kobayashi on Netflix live. What's that? You the didn't, fuck is that? You didn't see this? No. This was a hot dog eating contest between Joey Chestnut ah. and uh, that the, Kobe, the Japanese one, Kobayashi. Um, Joey Chestnut broke his record and ate 80 hot dogs in 10 minutes. Dude. Jesus Christ. And yeah. he went from being very skinny to being very fat in 10 minutes. And it was really fascinating to watch, honestly. It's impressive. It makes me sick just watching that kind it, of stuff. It did make me a little bit nauseous. Yeah. Uh, it would ruin glizzies for me, if it, I'm being honest. It did. It did. Because they're just dunking them in water <gasps> and ch- ch- hold chugging water. Just limb biscuiting. And going... Glum, glum, glum. <laughs> Hot dog flavor water. Mm. That whole fucking thing. That's him. So, so cool, dude. The, the film director, Lim Biscuit. Frank Fred Durst, as I know him. <laughs> Fred Dirty. Fred Durst. Can't talk, gotta poop. Um <laughs> it is, it is good. I don't know what the fuck you want from me. Um Francis Ha. Um I wish I liked this. I will That's say. fair. That's fair. Um I I can totally see how this could be insufferable to a a person, <laughs> yeah. It, I, like I get, I get why you like it. Yeah. It's sort of a snapshot of New York, and I know you love New York. Mm-hmm. Fair. Um, it is. It is very. Zany. I'm like Martin Scorsese in that way. You just, just like Martin really Scorsese. Love New York. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the every character is so fucking insufferable in this movie. <laughs> yeah. I could not stand a single person. Just zany artists in New York. I do. Yeah. And sh- I. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it, it felt very Kevin Smithy. Uh, yeah. but but like a manufactured version of Kevin Smith ish, mm. where it doesn't feel as authentic. Uh, but who am I to say I didn't make the fucking movie? Corked up white girl goes in New York City, dude. Dude, she is such a corked up white girl. She's so quirky and Isn't weird. Isn't it directed by uh Andy or what's it, Charlie Kaufman? No, no, uh, by her man. Yeah, right. Uh, I'll look it up. Sorry, it, it, uh, he's Noah, about Noah, it. B- Noah Bombeck. Noah Bombeck. That's who I meant. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what I meant. Yeah. That's what I meant. Sorry. Yeah. Um, and I still knew. <laughs> <laughs> I still knew it. I still knew. It. That's what I meant. I meant that person though when I said a different person. <laughs> so Francis Ha <laughs> didn't like it. Okay. Uh, as soon as I saw Adam Driver walk in with a fedora, I was like, "All right, I'm out." Yeah. Um, I I get I get the appeal. There are things to like about it. Does not resonate with me. That's fair. Um. But the running scene in New York. But she ran. She ran all though. night and day. I, get to be away. honest, I did like it, but I didn't love it. I get it. I, I liked it though. I totally get it. Um, that's that's about it. I'll skip my shit. Nice. Yeah. Shall we get into oddity? Oddity. 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 Oh. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Yes. The scariest horror movie of the year. I pooped my shit pants. <laughs> I fucking slammed my diapy. Yeah, apparently this is the scariest movie of the year, guys. Did According you hear to that? According to who? According to a lot of people. A lot of people that fucking shat on long legs are like, fuck that movie. Oddity. The Irish horror is the fucking scariest movie of the year. Granted, we're... It, this this suffers from my... Uh, it co- suffers from comparison because I went into this thinking of that narrative of... okay. Like, people are like, fuck long legs. This movie's scarier than that. And I agree. This is more of a horror movie than long legs was. Long legs was a suspense thriller, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah, I didn't find long legs scary at all. A la mm-hmm. Silence of the Lambs. Yes. Even though the marketing did make it seem like oh, it was for a scary sure. movie. But, but uh, this didn't do it for me, guys. What? I was spooked. This was a banger. I was spooked. This was a banger? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I liked it a lot. I... I was up and down on it being four three throughout, and we'll get to that. But I liked it, and yeah. it, and the way they used darkness was my big thing. A lot what? of shots of doorways that didn't fucking suck. Skinmarink fans, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Also, shots of things that weren't doorways. Skimbery yeah. fans. <laughs> <laughs> you know, remember the phone scene? He went, ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That was that did scare me, but that's a cheap scare. <laughs> it was loud. It was just loud. Yeah, that's yeah. all it was. Yeah. But that last few seconds of Skin Rink was probably the scariest thing I've ever no, seen. No, the bedroom. That yeah, dude. It had its moments. In house. Anyways, yeah, yeah, yeah. they don't mean <laughs> yeah, in this house. In this house, we shit on Skin Rink. In this house. <laughs> in this house. But uh, I liked it. This is a banger. I enjoyed this very much. Yeah. I think I was. Uh, I think I was just expecting it to be really fucking good. Yeah. Because I'm like, okay, if people are shitting on long legs, this be this better be fucking good. So maybe that's that was the wrong mindset going in to be like, this better fucking kill it. However, I will say there is a, a monster, not the fucking wooden man, hmm. but the fucking intruder. <laughs> to oh, me, dude. that was genuinely fucking scary. And then they fucking lost the reveal of it so fast. Yeah. And absolutely ruined its spookiness to me. They could have milked that a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Like, made more of a bait and switch of, like, is it a ghost? Is it real? Et cetera. Yeah. But it kind of did peter off pretty quick with that one. But the design of it, dude, that was fucking scary. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It was. And it's almost the shots of nothing that are more scary uh, that I thought. Like, 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 when the intruder was in the house or when they thought they heard something a lot of creaking wood yeah. a lot of like a lot of sound design that made you go there's something behind that corner and that house too the fucking castle house dude yeah what are you doing in there i mean man? it's cool looking it's like modern and cool but like goddamn that's a terrifying house in this house in this that's a fucking resident evil ass house yeah fucking <laughs> yeah and i don't know i i i was just back and forth throughout like my one thing was Fuck. Well, are we skipping to like the fucking end? We don't. Yeah, need to. no. It's yeah. whatever. Uh, I don't I, have I, a whole lot of notes. I on really this just one. wanted to say that like I didn't. Re- you, so you sent like the thumbnail of this, and or maybe it was the trailer or something. I didn't watch the trailer. I prefer not to, and so I didn't know much about it until I hit play, and I was like, oh shit, I've seen the trailer one time before some i can't even remember what movie yeah it's a great trailer yeah and i didn't it didn't click with me that i had like a vague familiarity with it until then and i was like oh i remember this looked fucking good i'm down now yes um that's about it i i was just hyped as soon as so I you realized. saw the wooden thing you're like oh like, okay. oh shit no it was it was the guy showing up going in the in the door going there's someone in there and i was like oh i remember this shit now yeah ah uh, that was a creepy part though with the fucking the insane that asylum little, dude that yeah. conundrum i was like oh this is a really really simple but like yeah perfect situation yeah right? yeah hey what's up my eyes fucked and i'm here to help <laughs> yeah <laughs> huh just open the door i'm trying to help you can i come in that's a for creep- what it was a creepy ass eye too yeah that's fucked that's, that's, that's a fucked eye, that man. That's fucked. That's custom. That's custom. They don't yeah. give you a fucked eye when they give you a glass eye. They're like, oh, like, what if we just f- made... You, you ordered the terrors <laughs> eye? Like, the fucking horror film eye? Yeah. Is that what you ordered? Yeah. Yes. I like it. He's like, yeah, there's someone in there. And she just goes, is anyone here? Yeah, there's no one here. Yeah, it's me. Is there someone here? I'm not gonna answer you. Yeah, there's... Yeah, like, here the ghost is gonna you. be like... Ah. <laughs> Someone's like, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> said the ghost like yeah um but yeah the the red herring at the beginning was interesting <laughs> farts <laughs> Any, yeah. is anybody here <laughs> yeah is anybody here just <laughs> <laughs> no oh god oh no fuck it's the stinky ghost <laughs> <laughs> it's a fart man <laughs> in that lo- that giant castle yeah in the- <laughs> she's like there must be a ghost in here <laughs> There's somebody in my You're cellar. Right. <laughs> you better come in. She's like so, so embarrassed that she shit herself. See, it's the fart. <laughs> <laughs> you better come in. Yeah, there's definitely somebody else here. Is that it's was making my pants fill with shit? <laughs> there's someone in here shitting my pants. <laughs> That's the real oddity. Yeah, you can think about yeah. it. Yeah. Thanks for listening to the Earth Radio. No. I'm just... Uh, but uh, yeah, so I saw the trailer and it had that immediate A24 vibe, like the unsettling cinematography, kind of quirk. I don't say quirky. I don't even like <laughs> a to lady say- bird of a <laughs> yeah, I- a Francis Ha, if you yeah. will. Yeah, Francis, Francis Haunted. Uh, Francis Ha, you know. Yeah, but cool. I don't even want to say A24 vibe, but everybody knows what I mean. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like it's that, you know, 
You know what I mean. Whatever. So I was good horror, <laughs> Ele- elevated yeah. horror, right? It's that whole fucking thing. yeah. You know, we had, that's a shitty term too because it's not like they invented it, but it, they did yeah, popularize it. With, yeah, to- with devil, it was on an elevator. Yeah, yeah. A little- <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> didn't even direct that. Fuck movie, man. Dumb fucking shit. No, he did. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. He did. You not- don't know shit about movies. You don't know anything, and fuck your butthole. He didn't direct that movie. Did he write it? Produce it? He produced it. Uh, he directed. Some fucking Shyamalan. Dude. The devil. His, oh, da- his daughter probably. <laughs> when she was a daughter? baby. <laughs> <laughs> Her first words were action. Anyways. Uh, yeah, so then she, uh, the blind witch sister brings like a, like a fucking wooden like haunted piece of shit. <clears throat> I liked that though. I like that she owned a little oddity store. Yeah. Like that's a cool concept for that a horror is really movie. Cool. I haven't seen that before and I've seen those stores. Yeah. I'm like, fuck that. Never going in there. Yeah. And even like when he walks in, she's like, don't fucking touch anything, you idiot. Yeah. Don't steal. I like the idea of like stealing things and people bringing them back. And if you're thinking of stealing something, you should know that every item in here is cursed. Yeah. Like there's that like ten me, movies there. Yeah, exactly. That to me was a movie. Like that's yeah. the whole Insidious thing where yeah, they own true. the shit. The, the I stole the haunted monkey and now I've got fucking. Monkeys. Is that Insidious? I can't remember. Uh, Conjuring. That's it, yeah. She she yeah she works at the Conjuring Vault basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically yeah. Bunch of haunted shit. She can touch it and see shit. To me, that was a more interesting movie than this turned out to be. I can see it, but I, I do I do like... I just wanted it to go harder in some aspects, and it just... Because it, it teed up some really cool things, like the, wood, the wooden figure and all that, and like the fact that she had a... The ghost sister was pretty active at first. Yeah. You know? And then she kind of just wasn't after. She's like, run! The jump scare of the, the one house guest... Or the girlfriend basically looking down the stairs and the wood figure is Dude, like that got me with his head yeah. up looking at her that freaked me the fuck yeah. out <gasps> that was good the the video camera one too the the camera one i yeah. guess when she's like hey we're in our Whoa. tent and then it panned over to something different it was like a she replayed the same video and it changed that one that one was sick yeah and then immediately when she dropped it there's another jump scare it was like ah, ah. yeah it's yeah. like she was in the corner too like and yeah what do you think ted I, but they did all like the squinty can't s- quite see it mechanic a lot, which I love. I love, I that. love the. Am I seeing something? Yeah, it's almost hard to to really figure it out. Yeah, like there's a YouTube video out there with a bunch of arrows for sure. Oh my god! You know what I mean? The red arrows. I turn up the brightness on Oddity, and there's a thousand top fucking three demons. things you didn't see in Oddity. <laughs> yeah, there's Easter eggs. Mm-hmm. Welcome back to Heavy Spoilers. I'm that fucking guy. I'm going to tell you every spoiler in the world. Oh, that fucking guy. I have locked myself into Marvel movies forever, <laughs> and I'll never be able to do anything else. Oh, God. It's like, I feel sorry for that guy. Yeah, that sucks, dude. He really feels like his soul's dead. Everything his- you missed in Madam Web. <laughs> <laughs> so when he's like, where's my spider? He was in the frame. He's- <laughs> he just barely missed his spider. <laughs> <laughs> they had just taken his spider. <laughs> <laughs> they took my spider. I am going to watch Fantastic Four, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, back to Oddity. Um, yeah, so she's like, what is this? And she's like, oh, it's just a completely normal anniversary present. And it's just the fucking... It's <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> just wooden grief. Just... Uh, <laughs> Just a guy just stuck in absolute terror. Yeah. Like a wooden statue of just a guy screaming. I laughed. Don't you love it? (laughs) Don't you like it? No. I I love that he doesn't really have a reaction. Like when he opens the trunk, he's like, the hell? (laughs) Yeah. What the heck? And then his girlfriend's like, that's a weird ass gift to give somebody. Yeah. But she's blind. She doesn't know what it looks like. I have a feeling she might know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't know how fucking terrifying it is, you know? Yeah, but she could just plead ignorance. For sure. She'd be like, I, what? I thought it was a fucking Barbie doll. I thought it was a bowling ball, dude. You see the back <laughs> of its fucking head? Bang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. I thought it was I, a bowling ball, man. I thought they were going to put their fingers in it. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like finger the head. What are you doing? Dude. That's what I say all the time. All dude. the time. Yeah. Stick your fingers in that head. Yeah. Finger the back of Finger my the skull. Head. Gate yeah. my pee pee hole. All right. Um, I love that the uh, so the doctor dude is he's in the great with L Fanning, mm. and he is great. 
in in this show. Um, he's he's an awesome actor. Uh, I was very happy seeing him in a movie. I liked the orderly. That guy was fucking creepy as shit. That guy was genuinely creepy, but the reveal of him in the movie was way too soon. I agree. Yes. God damn it! It was like their first scene with him. Yeah, and the, yeah, and, and they're immediately, immediately it's like, oh, it was the orderly. Fuck. Well, let me think about it. Yeah. I was already like, I think he may have worked with the orderly, to, and then they're like, he did that, and I was like, well, let me fucking. But there's that, but there's also you could have had the bait and switch of it being something supernatural, also. Yes, for a longer time. Yeah, because because once you she goes, oh, it was him. It's like, oh, so she's just using supernatural stuff to solve a real murder right boring i thought it was going to be some really fucked up weird oddity shit yeah but also the orderly he's like so you want me to kill your wife what if like in a moment of passion i like <laughs> fuck your wife he's like do not fuck my wife he's like but, but that's sometimes what... these things just happen in these instances and he's like you're don't not... fuck my wife <laughs> like, again okay, okay but hypothetically yeah. what if the motive was sexual if I were just the adrenaline's flowing, she's looking hot. You never know. She, you know, what's she wearing? Honestly, sir, she's going to be dead anyways. <laughs> but let's just say it happens to go that way. No. He's like, just Please kill her. <laughs> it's crazy. If I find any Just fucking... kill my fucking wife. <laughs> Don't you, fuck you her. Can I the... fuck her, please, though? Can I fuck She's going to be dead. Please. please, can I fuck you her? You hear it through the hospital. Just kill my fucking <laughs> wife. And he's the like, guy with the eyes. <laughs> My heightened sense of hearing caught it. <laughs> because I've lost one eye, I have a slightly better sense of hearing. Much like the daredevil. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. He was fucking <laughs> yeah. He was fucking creepy for sure, but yeah. I agree the red herring could have gone longer. But I, I was laughing so hard at the scene where, like, the girlfriend is just like, I kind of empathize with the girlfriend, if I'm being honest. Dude, the director even said she was the audience, the stand-in for the audience for the whole movie. It's like, you could easily write that character as just a dumb fucking idiot and gets killed by the thing and that's it, yeah. end of story. But he's like, what if instead of writing her that way, what if it is a stand-in for the audience? And like, you're, she's like the realistic person of the whole thing. Yeah, right? being like, oh, don't you like my demon wooden figurine? And he's, she's like, no, no, no. I'm so uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. Like, there was she was pretty bitchy about it but to be fair i empathize with her it's like no we don't want you here and she's like can you make me some food before you leave and it's like no what is this fucking if you give a mouse a cookie get the fuck out of here i'm a little hungry maybe you could make me something to eat before you leave she gets her a fucking charcuterie board and she's like i can't wait to share this with you and she's like What's all on here? (laughs) (laughs) that's everything oh i love cheese (laughs) yeah but I was laughing because, like, uh, you know, she's comes over with a fucking demon statue and then passes out at the table in the same pose as the demon. She gets into, like, her witch, like, summoning pose. Yeah. Like, and then she's just in the other room like, yeah, no, no, she's still here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, okay, I guess I'll go to bed while she's in this totally normal pose at my dining table. Like, right? Just just mirroring the <laughs> demon statue. Going, oh! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, your your fucking witch sister in law is here. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna go to sleep and she's like he's like, just fucking just go to bed. What are you doing? It's like that guy should have been I'm the, the only one that does the killing around here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That guy should have been more on his shit, knowing that his he orchestrated the murder of his wife and then his blind witch sister just showed up with the demon. He should have been more on his shit. Yeah. But he doesn't believe in any of it. I'm dude. a realist. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. <laughs> yeah. I'm a doctor. Also, she died the funniest way possible. The blind witch? Yeah. Yeah, it's a loony ass death. <laughs> loony Tunes ass Looney death. Loony Tunes ass death. Dude, you sure. dropped a fucking trap door and she's like, time to go. Bang! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then an anvil and a piano yeah. falls on her. <laughs> yeah. Dude. It was it was goofy. And I thought she knew. I thought she was right. like I thought she was like, no, I know that you put a who has a trap door that what is What's that? What's the point? What was that supposed <sighs> to be? Just like I cut a hole in my second floor in case I want to build a fire pole, I guess. <laughs> Directly I over the fucking stone the cobblestone <laughs> floor of my house. <laughs> yeah, like there was no explanation. Like there used to be a coal shoot. I or call something. this the dead hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> call this the, the hole. The hole for killing. The killing holes. <laughs> <laughs> this is the hole for killing. The call drop the woman in the hole killing hole. The poison chosen specially to kill Cusco. Cusco's poison. Every house in Ireland has this. Yeah. Exactly. It's a feature, not a bug. 
Anyways, I was laughing at also at the guy when I guess, you know, when the when the haunting started to pop off, like when the wife was haunting the girlfriend out, mm-hmm. which was her only appearance. Annoying. Yeah. And then after that, it was just like blind witch versus yeah. the real murderer. I, I thought, was like, I thought the I thought the ghost was gonna have revenge, have a little bit more cameo. It was no, it was like two minutes of like jump scare in the in the house. Yeah, and then I'm yeah. scaring you out yeah. of the house. And then the shot looking back at the house, like, eh. Was yeah, sick. that's it. That was a good great shot. That was cool. And then she's cool. kind of like appeared out of darkness. That was a really, really cool Yeah, it, there was this that was my only complaint with this movie. It's where it felt just a tad short for me. It was like so much potentially cool stuff didn't they didn't invest enough in that stuff. 100 percent It definitely felt like half a movie. But I was laughing so hard because as soon as the haunting started, the the lights just went off. I guess oh the, my light, God. the lights are just off now. Of yeah. no naturally. Turned, naturally, it's all darkness. And it's a tool for the horror movie. But I was laughing because he came home. The doctor came home in his Mercedes Benz and he opened the trunk and he busted out this ye olde lantern. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Why the fuck? He has an Sleepy, iPhone. Sleepy hollow ass lantern. He's ha- he literally has his iPhone in the other hand like, oh, God, I don't know where she is. <laughs> and then he goes, he's doing this fucking Sleepy Hollow shit through through the fucking house. Yeah. It's like, dude, there's a fucking flashlight yeah. on there with like 10,000 lumens. He's like, I kind of like the vibes of this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it super be, vibey. It has like a three foot radius on <laughs> yeah. and that would be scarier. So That would yeah. be cool. It's in your trunk, too? It's low what the on fuck? batteries. It would make a little sense if it was like, oh, this is my old ass house. I'll take this lantern. But it right. was just like, I, yeah, I roll around in my <laughs> fucking lantern. My you guys trunk. don't keep a fucking lantern in the, in the car? I do, personally. Okay, cool. Yeah, but I'm a really here. smart doctor, a realist, as you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I carry well, at least it was lantern. The, the flashlight thing where it kind of like goes out and you have to do the fucking, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That whole yeah, thing. Yeah, sure. That mechanic was cool, though, when they were using flashlights to spot stuff. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I didn't like whenever she took over the wooden body, dude. I didn't yeah. know how they would that use the body. Cheese. As her fucking, we are now connected. It was cheddar cheese. Yeah, I, th- I thought she was going to be connected to her dead ghost sister. Right, right. Yeah. But no, she just started puppeteering the thing. It, it, it made I, that thing less scary. Yeah, 100%. It should have stayed still the whole fucking time and then moved and... In between the cuts, you yeah, know, I that's guess because, all you need to do. Because that's the thing that I guess earlier in the movie exploded that dude's head. I think we're meant to think. I think we're meant to but think in, that she. No, she said that she killed him. Yeah, right, right. I, I oh, get, as the wooden right, dude. Yeah. Oh, in yeah. the asylum, the wooden statue yeah, 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 walked yeah. through the asylum and killed that guy. Yes. Which guy did it kill again? I don't even remember which guy. I just remember the exploded fucking head. It's so funny if orderlies like just fucking kidnapped the the wooden man. You're like, come on, sir. <laughs> yeah. He's ah! like, no, I'm a demon. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm so scared. Yeah, okay, sir. No, okay. I really am. <laughs> Look a, at my head. <laughs> just a guy. Just fucking put <laughs> they bowling ball his ass to the room. <laughs> like, come on, man. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, that, I I didn't un- who did he kill? I she, don't know who he killed. Because she was like, I killed someone in the asylum, but it the, wasn't the murderer. It, no, it was the dude with the glass eye. His head exploded, though. No, because that guy is the one who saw the exploded head. Right? No. No? no. All right, fuck That's it. what I thought. No, the in the, the hospital, his head was exploded. Oh. And, and that's where they found the, the glass eye. Okay. That's right. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, it's the piece of him and blah, blah. And yeah. then she found out, whoops, I killed an innocent guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shit. She, she touched the eye and it was just him going, I was fucking innocent. And By the like, way. Oh, fuck. I used my molecular memory skill. It's on cooldown right now. <laughs> to, uh, <laughs> fucking... It must be an, an infuriating podcast to watch for people who pay attention. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're yeah. like, no, he died. His head exploded. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so was that the orderly? Yeah. Did he just come back? Like, we're so dumb. That's the fucking movie podcast, baby. Yeah. Whatever. Aren't you cinephiles? Yeah, no, we no. did. We did fucking. Yeah, we read 10 pages of IMDb trivia on this, dude. <laughs> I don't, fuck that. But yeah, uh, the, the it was kind of funny once it came to life. It made it less scary because then there was just like this yeah. guy like, oh, you went up. Th- oh, fuck. You went back down. Okay, God fuck. damn it. He goes through the hole. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. <laughs> 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 Can you put me back together? <laughs> <laughs> just him going. Oh, God, shit. Oh, fuck. oh shit. Just gingerly walking. You think I wouldn't have sciatica when you become a wooden man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then, yeah, the rest kind of petered out after that. I did love the ending, though. Peter. I love the... He gets one a little more, one more piece from the Odyssey shop. I yeah, see she cool. mailed that before she left. Just a little, little uh, contingency plan to fuck him up. Yeah, he's like, oh yeah, he's gonna ring this because he doesn't believe. And then he's like, Bing. 
It was a nice little suspenseful. <laughs> His ending. whole family's been murdered, and he's like, I simply don't believe. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, the last line of the movie is like his girlfriend going, how the fuck can you stay in that haunted fucking house? And he's yeah. like, I'm gonna ring this haunted doorbell. Thing. Yeah. yeah. Haunted service bell. I'm glad that she got away. Yeah. Yeah. Although she's a pharmaceutical rep, so not blameless. Yeah, fuck her. <laughs> she was a bitch and fuck her. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know. No, I thought I'm she was going to come back. No, I loved I loved that she was like, fuck that, never coming back, we're done. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, there's a few Your horror weird movies. Witch sister, fuck that. The sequel is her life, and it's just eat, pray, love. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Horror movies where the characters just leave and survive. Yeah. They just leave. Yeah. And it becomes a different movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would be really like, fucking Oh, yeah. fuck that. And then it's just a rom-com after that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They never address the haunting at the beginning. <laughs> Just eleven things I hate about you. After that, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. But I love the ending because it was like a little bit of suspense, a little little bit, and then just like right at the end of the cut to the wide shot, and the guy like you rang, <laughs> yeah, some old fucking fucked up guy, of course, dead doorman. Doorman, you're nothing but a doorman. Doorman. But he was like young, right? He was just dead. They said he was young, but then it he looked like he was like a middle aged guy. But I don't know. He looked like a boy. That was some boy. fucking horror convention ass makeup. I guess. Yeah, that but one. Yeah. Did, that one didn't look that yeah, good. I was like, what are you doing with it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He he just, why'd you light him so well? Yeah, yeah. I was just he should have just creeped out of the darkness a little. He, cut to black. he looks you like, guys still like this movie. I do like it. He, I do. He looked like the bus driver from uh, Prisoner of Azkaban. If you remember, if you remember that. You're just validating all of my the why I I had a like great it. time watching it. I was more spooked out during this movie than I was during like almost any of Long Legs. Yeah. Um this also had like weird <clears throat> weird similarities to Long Legs and the fact that there is a human-sized human-shaped doll in a house that just sits there being very imposing and creepy. To me that is scary though. Yeah. I thought that was scary and I thought uh Nicolas Cage at the very beginning was scary. Yes. I brought my long legs and then the the sound design. That was a the music. perfect intro for yeah. Me. yeah. Like yeah. to me that was scarier than all of this movie. Okay. Uh, the, this had more classic horror. I liked the atmosphere this of this. This is definitely yeah. more of a horror movie, but I'm saying like there are moments in Long Legs that I was like, holy shit. Yeah, sure. Makes sense. I get you. Yeah. I was just like, in Long Legs, I was like, this is cool. Yeah, yeah of course. I was That's just cool. so excited to yeah. be watching it's Long Legs. It's just our yeah. vibe, so we were just like, neato. Yeah. But I think it suffered from like having it compared to Long Legs. Like so many people saying like, oh, this is so much better than Long Legs. Fuck that. People it's said just- that? Yes, dude. But okay. I think that's just people just being different. Contrarians. Yeah, people said Romulus sucked too, but whatever. Well, okay. Yeah, I mean, they're like, it's, it's nothing but fan just- service. So it's like, fuck? It, that was a, it's actually a common complaint. It was like, it was just like fan service where it's like, well, what the fuck else do you want it to yeah, be? Yeah, what? It's an alien movie. Yeah, it's like the seventh in the franchise or something. And it's like, it needed to go back to its roots. It it just did. We're, it, we did a Romulus yeah. episode. Fucking go listen to that, but. Yeah, you I, watched that three times already. Right? Shit. Huh? You watched that three times already, right? Yeah. I've seen Rob yeah. three times now. Oh, yeah, dude. Dude, I'm getting that fucking Steelbook 4K puppy, I am saying. I'm getting every variation. I'm yeah. getting the UK. I'm getting America. And the American's going to be the one cheat for sure. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's going to be just like his Evil Dead one, just red. Beautiful. Perfect. Can't wait. I want the like the German one to be like the alien like looking in Seinfeld's fridge. <laughs> yeah. I just think that'd be a good idea. Oh, yeah. And the slipcover, you'd like... Takes out a banana. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Anyways, that's uh, Oddity. Anything else? That's it for me. Not much. I enjoyed it. It was a good time. <laughs> Is it cinema? With Marty Scorsese, we have to determine whether or not oddity is cinema or not cinema. Based on our scale, this is how we rate movies on the podcast. If you didn't know, now you fucking know. <clears throat> Boys, <clears throat> let's kick it off with... Christopher Charles Topher Collins. Chucky. Chris, is it cinema? Yeah. Wow. Ah, I enjoyed it. Alexander Michael Wilson, is this cinema? Yes. Ah. And I will finish up. Josh, the Josh Rodriguez of Film School University, is it cinema? Ah. No. Not even cinema. Wow. Nah. I, can like under- it. I can understand falling short of 4-3. Sure. It's not 4-3 for me. I'll say that. Let's say it. Okay, yeah, me either. <laughs> it was back and forth. I was like, this is 4-3. And then I was like, ah, fuck. Not so much. Nah, I, d- I don't even ever want to rewatch this. It just didn't do anything for me. Just barely fell short of owning it for me. I would recommend it, though. It's a good, it's a it's good, good horror movie of this year. 
It's decent. I just <laughs> I I think there are so many be- other better films this year than than this. I won't deny that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This it's is solid just, though. I enjoyed it. This is just not me. And I feel like we've done a lot of like cinema just because it's a well made film. Like fuck that. I didn't like it. You know. That's fair. It's understandable. Just changing it up a little bit. Being honest. Fuck Gotta respect you. it. Gotta respect it. But no doubt, to respect to all the people that made it. It's a fine, <laughs> it's a fine looking movie and you know, great job. Yeah, I, we're not, I couldn't do it. We're not a film critic podcast. Yeah, we're a film opinion you? podcast, I think, you know? Dude, hell yeah. You know what I mean, guys? Ooh, fucking rock on. Bro. I just cannot ever say I'm a critic. <laughs> you know what's really funny about that? Uh on the set of Master of Disguise, they learned 9-11 happened. And they had a moment of silence with him in the <laughs> turtle costume. Fun film fact. That's hilarious. And I, I just have to cut that in out of context because I cut out the context of why we're talking about that. But it's a fun film fact. Yeah. Top five film facts. Like, you imagine, Top five ways to find out that 9 11 happened. <laughs> can you imagine him just in, like, hey, let's gather around. <laughs> the fucking man. <laughs> moment of silence for the towers. I can't do this. For his moment of silence, he goes inside. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm joking. I'm They're like, don't joke. Do, don't don't do stop that. it. America's <laughs> under attack. Well, I gotta get back to the mood. Here's the second one. <laughs> they just hit the Pentagon. He's like, can we do the take or not? All right. And the Master of Disguise. Uh, dumb movie title for Oddity. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got Ancient Asylum and Dr. Dipshit, or How I Learned <laughs> to Stop Worrying and Kill My Wife. <laughs> Oh uh, shit! That's really funny. Yeah. That's too long. long, though. It's long. It's good though. Too long. Uh, I've got I've got wood, and no one expects the imposition. <laughs> I like uh, wood. 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 Ah, uh, nice. Yeah. Will clap. <laughs> Will clap. <laughs> it's a good center, by the way. Um, that's ba, 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 ba. That's, that's it for me. Are you into one? Wood. Oh, like wood. W. Yeah. O U L D. I'm out of range. <laughs> that took a lot, actually. That took a lot out of me. Oh, just double U, but it's one letter. I don't know what just happened to me, dude. Speaking of like small strokes, I I was at the dentist. The other- <laughs> <laughs> of small strokes. Uh, I was at the dentist, and and she was you know inspecting the back of my teeth, and she goes, "All right." I had my tongue this way, and she was like, "All right, can I bring your tongue to the other side?" And I just had like a. She's like, T- "Put your tongue to the right," and I just had like a small stroke. I was just like, ah. <laughs> and she was like, "What?" And I was like, "I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know." She's like, "That was funny." She's I guess. like, "That was fucking badass." <laughs> <laughs> that was so fucking. Cool. In fact, let me step over. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I, I was just like, "I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm not even awake yet. That was weird." All right. Uh, do we want to do a game? Yeah. How much did this cost to make? Which we probably won't find. Yeah, probably. Doubtful. Did you see that this was used in uh, some other podcast? I forgot what it was. Oh, Harlan Williams uses this drop. Oh, cool. Yeah. It was either in the clip or in the podcast. So I don't know. But yeah. Somebody, yeah. It's some. Did we pay for this one? Yeah. Huh. No, no. I think this is. this is Royalty free. Oh, Royalty yeah. Free. This is just a YouTube one. Yeah. Yeah. Don't. You fucking. The, this is, the, is It Cinema is the one that we paid for. That's right. So don't fucking use you it. Stop DMCAing us for that. We fucking paid for it. God damn it. Stop Devil May Cry associationing us. I have to fucking upload my fucking receipt every time or our receipt, <laughs> whatever it is. Fucking bullshit. Yeah, stupid. Anyways, uh, how much did it cost? Like $3 million. <clears throat> yeah. Six million. I was gonna say ten. Alexa, how much did the movie Oddity cost to make? You're never gonna. She's never gonna find it. The film Oddity was produced on a small budget, estimated to be under one hundred forty thousand dollars. God, some bullshit. sources suggest a lower budget of around eighty thousand dollars. No way. No fucking way. Did they pay them in raises? I mean, they were only in two locations. I mean, yeah, but camera, the gear. wooden man. Yeah. But they're all Irish. They fucking paid him in booze. <laughs> they you paid him in mean? potatoes and yeah. whiskey. <laughs> Dude, yeah. you're totally right about that. <laughs> God is ass. He's got paid in fucking booze, dude. You know what I mean? Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, shall we do a ho- uh, movie with figurines? Movies with figurines? or Movies, movies with inan- inanimate objects? I don't fucking know. Yeah, sure. Let's try that. Oddity. Small soldiers. Nice. Uh, the Puppet Master. Chucky? Toy Story. Pinocchio. Antebellum? 
don't even know what that is. What is no conjuring with the puppet Antebellum? Isn't that oh, the one? Okay, okay. Isn't that the one that's called that? An- Annabelle. <laughs> Antebellum. I can be out. I don't care. No, what? you're you're fine. Um, this is such a broad thing that I'm like, burp. <sighs> <clears throat> It's a fucking thing that kills you. A that's thing. Not alive. The, you, already, you already said Chucky, right? Yeah. All right, I'm out. Oh, Fuck I should have told you that. Fuck. Um. Did we already say small soldiers? Yeah. Shit. I'm out. <laughs> you <Chris. won. laughs> One more, Chris. Wait, one more inanimate object. Mm, I really can't think of one. Indian in the cupboard. Uh, that's also that movie's also problematic. It's the native in the cupboard, guys. Hundred percent. All right, boys. Is it ready to get the fuck out of here or what? Yeah. After I we do a so. land acknowledgement for Indian in the cupboard, we apologize. Sorry for being white. Sorry. Wait, what? We're all white. Wow. Oh god. Well, we got to do a land acknowledgement for Guatemala <laughs> oh, shit. now. Oh shit. Sorry. Sorry, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. He's you Samoan. done goofed. <laughs> now you don't know. Now I gotta do a landing dollar and something for Samoa. There you go. Hawaii. We'd like to apologize to the Girl Scouts and their cookies and their delicious Samoan cookies. Yeah. <laughs> Just jacked off in his mouth. Five bucks a month on Patreon I if like you want to support the show. B. Boing ding. Letter toads. <laughs>